what's going on guys in this video we're going to get started with the content for graphql api i'm going to show you how this graphql api is connected to the content delivery api and the content preview api we are going to create a new content type we're going to add some data and perform some graphql queries remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started okay now let's log in to the contentful administration panel and let's add a new space here i'm going to select the community plan here I'm going to add a name for my space, let's say shops. Here we can either select an example space or we can create an empty space. I'm going to click on create a space. And now I'm going to enter to the shops space. This is the space that I just created. Okay, this is the shops space. So I'm going to create a new content model. So I'm going to click here on content model and I'm going to add a new content type. This content type is going to be shop data so this will be shop and i'm going to create new content type and now i'm going to add some fields for this new content type i'm going to add the title of the shop a description the location for the shop and the type for example if it is full-time or part-time so i'm going to add those fields really quickly okay here i added all the fields the title the description the type and the location and here i'm going to add another field that will be the name of the company and I'm going to click on save. Okay, our content type is ready. So I'm going to create some contents and I'm going to add a new shop here. I'm going to add some shop data here really quickly. And here I added a couple of entries. One is a shop for a position of principal front end engineer. And the other is a position for a principal back end engineer. The first one is published and the other one is in draft state. So the published record will be accessible from the content delivery API. And this draft record is going to be available in the content preview API. I want to show you how we can access that from the GraphQL API as well. Okay, now let's set up a token. This token will allow us to consume the GraphQL API. So let's go to settings and let's go to API keys. And here I'm going to click on add API key. And I'm going to call this API key shops GraphQL API. Okay, and I'm going to click on save. And from here we need to grab the space ID the content delivery API access token and the content preview API access token. So first we can access the GraphQL API from GraphQL. This is provided by Contentful itself. And this is the URL to access GraphQL provided by Contentful. So this is the URL graphql.contentful.com slash content slash v1 slash spaces. Here we need to pass the space ID. That in our case, I'm going to work from here. And I'm going to replace that value. And here we need to pass the access token. We can either pass the content delivery API token or the content preview API token. In this case, I'm going to grab the content delivery API token. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and I'm going to paste it here. Now I'm going to grab this URL and I'm going to paste it in a new tab. And here we can take a look at the GraphQL schema provided by Contentful. So if we enter here, we're gonna see this asset content type that is provided by the Contentful platform. And here is our content type. So if we go to shop, here we're gonna see the fields of the content type that we created, the title, the description, the type, the location, and the company. And from here, we can perform some GraphQL queries. So here, for example, let's get all the existing shops so this is query let's call this get all shops and here we need to access the shops collection actually this one shop collection so this is shop collection and here we can access the items that are actually the, the shops so this is items and we can select what are the fields from the item that we want to access. So here, for example, we can access the title of the shop and the location. And here we can also add some other properties, such as the total items that we have. Here we are using the content delivery API. So here we are just going to see those elements that are published. So I'm going to click on execute. And as we can see here, we only see this item, the principal from an engineer, that this is published so if we go to content we're going to see that the principal front end engineer is the only record that is published okay now let's go to postman this is the url 
is pretty much the same that we are using in GraphQL. So here I already added a new environment with some variables here. Here I have the space ID. I'm grab this value from here, here. Here is the environment that is master. This is the default environment for Contentful. Here we have the CDA token that I grab from here, Content Delivery API token. And here, this is the Content Preview API token that I also grab from here. Okay, so let's go back. And here I'm passing the space ID, the environment. And here in the authorization header, I need to pass a bitter token where I can either use the Content Delivery API token or the Content Preview API token. So for now, I'm going to pass the Content Delivery API token. So this is CDA token. Now let's go to body and let's select GraphQL. And I'm going to grab the query from GraphQL from here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So now if I run this query from here, we're going to see the same result that we are getting here. And here we can pass a parameter in order to filter those records that are in draft state. So here we can pass preview like this preview. And this will be a Boolean value. So here we can pass this filter in here. This is preview and the value will be dollar sign preview like this. And here we can pass the variables like this. This is in JSON format. This is preview. And what happened if we use the content delivery API token as we are doing here and we pass preview with the value true. If I run this, we're going to get an error. We get this error access token invalid because if we pass the content delivery API token, that token is not authorized to get draft records. So now if I go here and I change this by the content preview API token, this is CPA token. And now if I run the same query, we're going to see that we get two items. We get the published item and the draft item, as we can see here. Here we have the published record. This is the principal for an engineer job. And here we have the draft or unpublished record. That is the principal backend engineer job. And that's the difference between using the Content Delivery API token and the Content Preview API token. If we use the Content Delivery API token, we cannot see draft contents. But if we use the Content Preview API, we are able to preview content and get access not only to published records, but also to draft records. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.